Hi guys, this is another gear focus looking at another site. This is more like a, a little red dot, a reflective site, and we'll go through that in a second. Basically, quick look at the box, and you'll see it in a second. These four signs at the bottom here are actually the four different uh, reticles that you can get when we're looking at the site. But that's the box it comes in. Again, we don't need to look at that. You can also get two Allen keys in the box, a small one and the large one. Use it for fitting. These two nuts at the bottom are the bolts for the attaching it to the Israel using the uh, large Allen key out the two. Hey guys, just a quick shot of you see me attaching it to the top of the M4. I've already loosened it with I've already loosened these bolts off for the sake of the video. Simply just loosen it off, put it onto the desired length back, quick few twists in just to get the bolts tightened. That's it. Use the big end. Not too tight, remember. Just hand tight. You don't want to get stuck on there. And that's it. Zoom it out. That's it, attached to the M4. That easy, that quick. And again, when you're zeroing it, it's going to be nice and easy. Not here. It's actually the, again, it's the large Allen key. It's for zero in the site, for your left and right. And for your up and down. It's actually on the top of the site. There's a nice cover. It is probably quite easy to lose this cover. But if you can, just stick it in your top pocket or secure pocket because it does work nicely. There's a nice snug fit on it there. Put that there. You can see a nice polished piece of glass. Don't want to get any fingerprints on that. See me then. Basically this side of this weapon is... There you go, zero. Green, one, two, three on that side, and three, two, one in red on the other side. They're basically diff just the different colours of the site. The way this site actually works is we'll get on three because it'll be the brightest. It's just in this unit here at the back, a light shining out, reflecting off of this glass, which is reflecting that down to your eyes. If we can see that effect just there, you see the little light? that's it reflecting. And on the other side it gives the, which is something else we'll talk about in a second. The back of the site you see here is the four different settings you can see. Just to the dot and on the end which is the last one. Like I say, it does it in green as well. My personal favourite is the actual dot. I just like the little dot. It's nice and simple. Put the dot on the target, and where you go. I find this weapon really easy to zero. It's great having it there. Um, Allen key fits nice and easy. So you can lift it up, make sure it's in the centre, drop it down, quick adjustments. It's nice and easy to adjust. Plenty of room for the adjustment as well. Just turn this off before I kill about me for no reason. These sort of sights, in my view, are great on your smaller M4s, UMPs, MP5s, anything that's sort of CQB-ish. Um, because it's great for snap shooting. You lift the weapon straight up, your sight's on target. There's no messing around with a front and rear sight, it's just put the dot on the target and shoot. My views on this sight, very well made. I've seen a lot of guys using these in the field, I've never heard any problems with these sights. I'd love to have one of these ones on my M4. This one's actually from uh, Airsoft World again. Kindly provided it for me for this video. Uh, their links are below. Thanks for watching again. Check out the gear focuses for more sights and more gear. Please rate and, sub, uh, rate and comment at the bottom. Thanks for watching.